Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask! I'm Zelda Master and in this episode, we're gonna be investigating Akana Canyon and we're gonna start off with here. So, let's go ahead and uh, first off, take out our Garrow's Mask. I believe uh, Tattle is actually gonna tell us to take it out because she can't see it but she can sense there's a thirst for blood looming all around us. Do you have a mask that can summon the unseen? I, I actually do. Here we go. Let's go to equip it. And if we start running, yes, master, you called. What are you? I, I, who are you? I just got this mask from two lunatics, and you're going to try to fight me? Well, apparently this mask is the leader of these Garo people, and re regrettable, although my rival, you are spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. To reveal the dried up river on Akana Hill, you must go to the Springwater Cave. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse? That is the way of us Garo. That is really weird how that is their way, but yes, um, now basically we know what to do. We must make our way to the spring cave of sorts that he mentioned, and it's actually literally on the opposite side of here, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly run it there. Uh, but yeah, when you do have the Garo's Mask on, you can summon some of them, you know, the ones that are looking around, and then once they figure out you're not actually their master or their leader, they will fight you because... I mean, yeah, we may have the mask on, but if you look at the rest of our body, we don't really look like them in any sort of way, so I guess that's when they decide to fight us. At least they give us tips, so that's the good thing about it, but let's go ahead and enter this uh, spring well thing, and yeah, it doesn't look too good. A bunch of ginormous skulls. These don't even look normal, like these are from giants, and uh, really weird mist. As we approach it, you'll see a cutscene will happen. And I love the music for this place. Like, we're about to approach my absolute favorite area within the game. Like, Great Bay is my favorite area overall, but, like, favorite temple is really soon. And I can't wait to actually make it to that point. But what business do you have? What business have you in Akana Kingdom? Land where only the dead roam. I have a lot of business, my friend. And wait a second. This guy looks familiar. He looks like Flat. Who is this? Is this Flat's brother? This is no place for one as full as life as you. Really now, or do you, or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. I, I don't wish for that. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play. So yes, he is Sharp. His brother was flat and joined the ranks of the dead. He sold his soul. He sold his soul to the devil or whatever, and. Now he's going to try to kill us as he plays this wonderful melody. It's not that good, and it's not really doing much damage. I have a lot of life. He was correct when he said that. But hey, your brother told me to deliver something to you, and that is his melody. His tears, his anger, all of that within the Song of Storms shall be played, and uh, he should recognize it. So what is this? The song. Yes. No, it can't be the song. Well, I did not know it would make you freaking flip around and all of that. That's pretty cool. I'm glad the song was able to do that. Uh, so sweet. I did it. And that just pretty much killed him. His brother made a song that will destroy him with the power of life. And it's kind of... This is kind of like a hint to something where the Song of Storms is not just meant to summon rain. Uh, from, you know, Flat's Tears or whatever. It's also meant to prevent curses and I will show that off hopefully soon at some time, but uh, as you can tell, water is being restored because the well has filled up, not necessarily the well, but the spring, and it's fallen through the river. And this music, I don't think, is a great song for these Gibdos. Um, they don't seem to like it too much, as you can tell. They're falling on their knees, and uh, this is when it gets really freaking creepy, but... The music is just too joyful and, and awesome that it's going to kill him and send him straight to the... This reminds me a lot of Mario 64, by the way, like some sort of level. I don't know which level, but it's going to send him underground, as you can see right now. <laughs> yeah! I don't know, the animation that reminds me a lot of Banjo-Kazooie with uh, how the mummies worked within Banjo-Kazooie. I like it a lot, but yeah, just watch that and see him, uh, you know, fly in the ground and whatever. And there we go. 
this place is no longer haunted. And I believe what you heard there was the sound of a lock being unlocked. So that door has opened up. So flat, my dear brother. Forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the re revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. That is I, right? I'm assuming, at least. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. No problem, man. We dead should not be lingering here on this land. It was all the trick of the masked one who had upset things. Man, the freaking masked one has definitely been screwing around with everybody, it seems, as you can tell. Yeah, the Skull Kid pretty much screwed up everything, if that's who they're talking about. But if you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple in the land and serve the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that, what, what, we, what do we have to do? I, the only one who knows the way to the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Akana Castle, awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. All right, I have made my final request. Well, you're not really being too obvious here, so please don't leave. No, no, please. Oh, come on, Sharp. That wasn't Sharp. That was dumb, idiot. Okay, uh, I'm great at jokes, everybody, aren't I? Whatever, let's go ahead and just continue on here. I'm gonna take out my bunny hood and we'll run over to this house because it has been unlocked, and you're gonna see this little girl. She didn't see me, but I guess she has to spot you the first time you come around. And you're like, oh no, somebody's here. I better run, and she does, and now the door is locked. So how do I get her out? Well, little girls love the sound of bo exploding bombs. So uh, take out a bomb and have it explode or use your blast mask like I did, and it will send her running out of her house. Now. This is the part where you gotta be a little patient and also sneaky. Just stand behind the house and wait for her to literally walk far away. Once she's far enough, you'll be able to run into the house easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yes, so just like that, we are in the music box house. Now, what is here? Where is the father that has been investigating as, um, you know, freaking that thief told us before? I mean, he said that there's a little girl and uh, a parent living here, but there is no parent. Also, this is really creepy thing of a Gibdo and a Garo. Huh, pretty nice. But as we approach this freaking cabinet or whatever closet, you'll notice oh no, yes, a G Gibdo, but you know, still half human and he's gonna try to attack us. There's two things you can do either try to fight him, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, and stop it. Who are you? What are you? Uh, why are you do what are you doing with just walking into people's houses like this? I mean you left it so you gave me the opportunity. Don't please. It's a Paul Palima And well even though this guy was trying to kill us like a second ago his daughter was able to prevent him, but <clears throat> obviously he He doesn't have his senses as you can tell get out forget everything you see in here and get out she is really tough, I'll tell you that. She's not afraid of her freaking scary dad, who's pretty much a Gibdo, and she's trying to help us, tell us to leave and all of that, so great. Um, anyways, she's still, you know, a huge fan of the sound of exploding bombs, so we're gonna go ahead and bait her out once again and head back inside. And this time I'm actually going to dispose of that man because I want him dead. I don't like Gibdos. I was able to kill some with the power of music, but this one... Wait, wait, wait a second. The power of music... Maybe if I play him a song, he will be scared. So uh, before I even consider trying to hit him, I'll take out my ocarina and... Uh, let's see, what song is really good here? Mm -hmm. What's my favorite song in this game? Ooh, I actually really like the song of healing, so maybe I should play that. And that might <clears throat> kill him, I don't know. Music should stop him from doing horrible things and yeah, look at that. That was a horrible I was as you can tell you got to play the song of time or the song of healing rather to uh, heal his soul and father father Palima What have I been doing this whole time? <clears throat> you haven't been doing anything <clears throat> You had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. Wow! That is hilarious how she tells him that. 
That is crazy. Like, she just lies to him straight up to, like, prevent him from knowing what horrible thing he just was. And we pick up the cursed mask. This mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. Huh. And there we go. Just like that, we have obtained the Gibdo's mask, which will give us access to a really uh, cool area. Actually, the castle itself. The only way we can get inside the castle is through an area where we're going to need the Gibdo's mask. <clears throat> I apologize, but <clears throat> I constantly I clear my throat. It's getting really annoying. But now, let's go ahead and leave this place. I will come back here real shortly. Like, don't worry. We still have a lot to do here, of course. But what we need to do now is we're going to be heading to the well within Akana Canyon, or I guess the Akana Hill, wherever we're currently at. And uh, we, need, we need some money. Not necessarily money, but we're going to need some money to buy some things for certain Gibdos that are desperate to try one last human thing, I guess, before they die for good, I guess. And, and you're going to see what I'm talking about in a second. So let's just start off by buying a bunch, or rather, withdrawing a bunch of crap so we can buy a bunch of crap. Now, I don't know how many rupees I'm going to need exactly. I might just pick up... Let's see... I'm going to pick up 300. I'm going to be risky about it and just pick up a bunch of rupees. Hopefully, I remember to deposit the rest before I decide to rewind time. But here... In this shop in particular, be able to pick up most of the stuff you're going to need. Now take out your notebooks if you're following along, because you're going to have to write most of, of, the, of this down, pretty much. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to need 10 Deku Nuts, first of all. Then we're going to need 5 Deku Sticks. So, yeah. I believe we need Deku... Actually, I'm not even sure. I don't even think we need Deku... Huh. I'm not going to buy any more Deku Sticks because I don't think we need Deku Sticks. I'm kind of going this from the top of my head, so I really hope um, I'm right on most of this. So you know what? Just buy 10 Deku Nuts and keep that uh, noted because that's all we're going to need. Also, something else we're going to be picking up here is a fish. Fish will be perfect for us. And then we're going to need around, I believe, 10 bombs. So yeah, 10 Deku Nuts, a fish, 10 bombs. And uh, so far, so good. Okay, I think I picked up way too much rupees. Like, I did not need to withdraw this much. But I can easily buy the bombs just as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, now that we have all of this down, I believe that was... Wait, was that 10 bombs? Yes, it was. Okay. We're going to go ahead and buy ourselves five magic beans. Yes. This isn't making any sense right now, but trust me, it will make a lot of sense real soon. It just seems like we're buying a bunch of crap that we can easily find. Well, not the magic beans. The magic beans isn't easy to find, but still. Actually, before I do pick up the magic beans, I'm going to go ahead and teleport to Milk Road because we're also going to need some milk. So, yeah. Uh, good thing we have a lot of bottles with us because we're able to store the fish, the milk, and we're also going to need a blue potion. And I'm going to show you guys where to get all this stuff as fast as possible. So if you want really easy milk, it, this may be a lot more expensive than the milk bar, but it's honestly 100% worth it because you can buy it whenever. So we're going to go ahead and buy ourselves milk for 50 rupees. Yeah, yeah much obliged. Just, just shut up. Okay, <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and now teleport to the southern swamp so we can buy ourselves a bunch of uh magic beans because we're gonna need five of them and then i think all that's left is the blue potion and then we're good to go i really hope i'm not missing anything because if we do have everything we need exactly we'll be able to take a certain route that will make the well extremely easy and get everything we need to pretty much get within the well so you guys are going to see exactly what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly talk to this guy. would like to buy some magic beans from you, sir. So, oh, okay. I just realized he will not do any deal with me when I'm a human because he wants to freaking uh, town title deed, but that's I don't have it. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him as a little Deku Scrub and start buying a bunch of magic beans from him. So, yes, that is one. Let's go ahead and just keep buying some. I wish I could, like, skip through all of this dialogue. Maybe if I hit B... I'll be able to do it, so let's try it. Nah, it doesn't make you go that faster. Okay, whatever. Three, two more, and we'll be good. Luckily, he doesn't make them more expensive, unlike the freaking merchant with an Ocarina of Time, where every time you'd buy one, he'd add 10 more rupees. But then again, in Ocarina of Time, you, there's only a set amount you need to buy. In this game, it's different, where when you rewind time, whatever you set is gone. So it's a good thing they don't 
get any more expensive. All right, last place actually is an Akana Canyon, so we're good. We're going to be able to pick up a blue potion from the merchant, the Deku merchant. Uh, within Akana Canyon, so that's super convenient for us. So let's go ahead and quickly teleport there, and then get ready for what's to come. I'm excited to show it off, honestly, because it is a really cool area. Um, and yes, I mentioned it already a hundred times, and I'm going to act like I didn't even speak of it yet. So let's just go ahead and actually jump down. I think it'd be a little more convenient here with my Zora mask on. So I can just fall straight into the water. I was hoping you would dive, but whatever. It's okay, Link. You know, you're a Zora. There's a bunch of water, and for some reason, didn't feel like it was a good idea to dive. Whatever. Up to you. You just slowed everything down by, like, nothing. I don't even think diving speeds up your... F Does it? Huh, I don't know. I know the wind-up for diving is a little slower than just jumping off. But other than that, I'm not too sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk to this guy. So thanks for stopping by. Blah, 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 blah. I want a blue potion. Okay, so we were 20 rupees over the amount we needed, but we were able to purchase everything with the 300 rupees I picked up. Oh, come on. Okay, that was done on my part. But now we're going to go ahead and teleport back to the top of Akana Canyon. Since we do have everything we need, I really hope I'm not skipping anything, but... Uh, I guess I'll note down what I currently have. I got five magic beans. As you see, the blue potion, a fish, milk. Oh, what are you, what are you, whoa, you are creepy. What are you doing? Is he going to run towards me? Wait, what was he, what is going on? Wait, what? Is he glitched? I can't, is he running away from, what is, all right, I don't, I don't ever, I've never ever seen him do that, but okay. So, let's just leave him alone because I'm freaked out as it is. And we got more terrifying things to deal with within just a second. So, yeah. But straight to Akana Canyon it is. So, I, I mean, I could easily hook my way up there, but I'm too lazy. But like I said, okay, so five magic beans, the, the blue potion, milk, uh, fish, ten bombs, and I believe ten Deku Nuts. So, that is all of what we need to make our way inside a secret path that will take us to the Akana castle where we can find the king and he will help us enter the temple itself so we can end the curse and, and save this whole place. And it's actually right here. So I believe Tattle is going to tell us there's a Garo or something here, but I don't really care. Just jump down and get ready for some fun. So we're going to need the Gibdo mask on here because this is going to be the the mask that will actually allow us to talk to the people whoa that was weird the camera just changed angles on me but here we go so we're inside or just beneath the well let's get started my friend so let's start off by talking to this guy so leave it leave it leave me something delicious i can chomp on it's something that sprouts when water preferably five of them that's exactly the five Deku Nuts we just picked up. So, here you go, matey. Have some fun. Go ahead and chomp on them. And there you go. Now he will die happy, I guess. Or just burn or something. I don't know. So, there you go. One down. Ignore all of these paths and stuff you see. Because they're not the type for me. So, leave it. Leave it. Something. He wants 10 freaking Deku Nuts. I don't know if they consume everything you give them. I just, maybe they just want to see them. That's like their one wish before I die. Like before I, I die again because I'm already dead. I would like to see 10 Deku Nuts flash before my eyes. Anyways, our goal here is to make our way up to, to this area right here. So leave it, leave it. Leave me 10 refreshing blasts. <laughs> a good way to word it but those are the 10 bombs we just picked up so here you go my friend and he will die no remorse whatever all right now let's enter this ah okay well we got hit by the keys but this is what we needed we must we pretty much had to make our way through here unless we went to the graveyard on the final day and opened up the grave oh snap i don't have any arrows okay please tell me there are some arrows here because this is gonna suck if i don't okay we're good phew i like for some reason, I just, this weird feeling just sink to the bottom of my gut. I'm like, did I really screw this up already? I'm going to have to leave this place while I want to fight a big po. Um, so yeah, it's a big po. We've seen one of these, only one of these before within the third, the grave on the third day within the Akana graveyard. 
And yeah, you can either get one from here or from there. And I highly suggest this place because you're going to pretty much give this big Poe away within this exact area. So that's why I pretty much collected most of the stuff I did pick up. So I can just easily make my way to this big Poe and pick him up. So yeah, we're just going to focus on killing him as soon as possible. Sadly, the music is lacking here. And uh, all you hear is the sound of the blade traps. It's pretty, pretty annoying, but whatever. Let's go ahead and have this drop and then pick it up right into the bottle. Just like that, we got ourselves a nice big Poe. Now we can start backtracking. And the next area we want to go to is through the really lengthy like walkway, which is right over here. I, as you can tell, there's a lot of things like treasures and things you can like mess around with but just ignore it it's not worth it so we're gonna walk our way through here and just in a straight path pretty much so leave me something fresh the fresh thing is this a fish also i'm gonna have to jump back literally right now okay i think so at least wait never mind i thought i oh he's coming down okay <laughs> he, i guess he stopped coming down when i started talking to the gibdo but that was a uh a floor master, I believe, and he was gonna try to grab me and send me to the beginning of this. So now this one wants a big Poe, so let's go ahead and give it to him. Here you go, my friend. And now we can continue on. Now I'm starting to regret actually buying the No, I think I think we're gonna be good. I think I have everything I need, so all I have left is the milk. And are you okay? He was oh, he's coming down again. I'm just gonna go ahead and run around so I don't get grabbed. I'm gonna kill you immediately. Don't mess with me, my friend. All right. Oh no 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 no. Okay. I'm sorry. Please, please don't be mad, Gibdo. I did not mean to hit you. So leave it. Leave it. Leave me something rich in calcium. We got you that, my friend. It's some delicious milk. Here you go, my friend. So ah, this. No remorse. Open it up, baby. All right, so yeah, that's it. So I never needed the blue potion, it seems. I think the blue potion is actually to investigate some other area. So I must have opened that area before and I had it in the back of my mind because I was wondering why I felt like a blue potion was super necessary, but it wasn't necessary. So whatever, if you want to investigate the rest of this place, um, grab a blue potion and you can. I think you can get some treasure, but I'm not going to do that. So the very first area, I believe literally... Where I'm like here, let me actually stare at it. So where where my cursor is staring at on the map, on the opposite side from where we entered the well, uh, is a door that was locked that we could have used our blue potion on. But am I gonna do it? No. Oh my god, I have exactly four. <laughs> well, we need to light all of these torches. I need to be really precise here if I want to do this without having to leave this place and get more arrows so there we go luckily i was able to do it and this is gonna give us a chest that holds one of the absolute coolest items within the game are you guys ready let's go ahead and open it up and here we go guys inside this chest lies the mirror shield yes and as you can see the mask that was on the uh happy mask salesman is the same face as this. I find it really cool how he has that mask, but it's a really creepy looking mask, and it's a really creepy looking face to be on a shield as well. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is a secret passage to where the Akana Castle lies. And head up there, you just want to go ahead and do this. And now we are good to go. That's a really creepy face of a son. But that does it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on this castle by heading through this secret place so uh thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one